Welcome to the Auto Moto Freak Channel. Greetings to all viewers, subscribers, supporters. So to the point, Hyundai and Kia, part of the Hyundai Motor Group, have extensively developed and implemented their own dual-clutch transmission, DCT systems across a wide range of their vehicles. Like other DCTs, they aim to combine the fuel efficiency of a manual gearbox with the convenience of an automatic. How it works? Hyundai and Kia DCTs, similar to those from other manufacturers, operate with two independent clutches. One clutch manages odd-numbered gears, one, three, five, seven, and the other handles even-numbered gears, two, four, six, reverse. This design allows for the next gear to be pre-selected while the current gear is still engaged, leading to very rapid and smooth gear changes with minimal power interruption. Hyundai and Kia's DCDs are notable for often using electric servos and motors for clutch and gear actuation, distinguishing them from some other DCTs that rely more heavily on hydraulic systems. In which cars installed? Hyundai and Kia DCDs have been installed in a vast array of their models, particularly those with smaller to medium-sized engines and in performance-oriented in models. Some examples include Hyundai, Veloster, especially Veloster Turbo and Veloster N. Elantra, including Elantra N. Kona, including Kona N. Sonata, Ecotrim. Tucson, I-30, including I-30N. I-20, including I-20N. Various other models with smaller turbocharged petrol engines. Kia, 14 Cerato, especially GT models. Soul, turbo models. Seltos, Sportage, Seed, including GT and GT line models. Picanto and Morning, in some markets with specific engines. Stinger, later models with 8-speed wet DCT. Versions, Hyundai and Kia developed their DCDs primarily through their powertrain division, Hyundai Transies. They produce both dry and wet clutch versions. 6-speed dry clutch DCT, D6 GF1 found in some earlier and lower torque applications. Less common now as Hyundai and Kia have largely moved towards 7-speed and 8-speed versions. 7-speed dry clutch DCD, D7GF1 and D7F22 This version is common in many compact and mid-size models with smaller engines. 1.0L, 1.4L, 1.6L TGD engines. It's designed for efficiency and compact size with a maximum input torque typically around 220 to 340 newton meters. This is the version that has faced some of the more publicized reliability concerns. 7-speed wet clutch DCT, D7UF1 and D7F34W, a newer iteration for slightly higher torque applications, where the clutches are bathed in oil for better cooling and durability. Maximum input torque around 340 newton meters. 8-speed wet clutch DCT, D8LF1 and D8F48W. This is the most advanced and robust DCT from Hyundai and Kia, primarily used in their performance in models Kona and Veloster N, Elantra and I30N, and larger, higher torque applications Sorento, Santa Fe with specific engines. The wet clutches and additional gear offer improved performance, durability, withstanding up to 480 newton meters of torque and refinement, particularly for aggressive driving. Review and opinions. The perception of Hyundai and Kia DCTs varies significantly depending on the version. Dry clutch 7-speed DCT, D7GF1 and D7F22 this version has a more mixed to negative reputation, similar to some early dry clutch DCTs from other manufacturers. Common complaints include Shuttering and hesitation, particularly at low speeds in stop-and-go traffic or when pulling away from standstill. Jerky shifts can feel less smooth in lower gears or during parking maneuvers. Overheating warnings in prolonged heavy traffic or under strenuous conditions, leading to limp mode. Premature clutch wear. Compared to traditional automatics, the dry clutches can wear out faster, especially with aggressive driving or in urban environments. Software issues, requiring updates to improve shift logic and address drivability concerns. Wet clutch 7-speed and 8-speed DCTs. These versions generally receive 
much more positive reviews. Smoothness, significantly smoother than their dry clutch counterparts, with less low speed judder. Performance, excellent for spirited driving, offering rapid and precise shifts. Highly praised in N models for their responsiveness and engaging character. Durability. The wet clutch design offers better thermal management and increased longevity, making them more suitable for higher torque and performance applications. Refinement. While still a DCT, meaning they can sometimes be confused at very low speeds more easily than a torque converter, they are generally well behaved for daily driving. Overall, Hyundai and Kia have learned from early DCD challenges and significantly improved their wet clutch offerings, which are now highly regarded. Advantages Fuel efficiency Often more fuel efficient than traditional torque converter automatics due to reduced power loss. Fast gear changes Provides quick and seamless shifts, especially at higher speeds and during aggressive driving. Sporty feel the direct engagement and rapid shifts contribute to a more engaging and sporty driving experience. Compactness and weight can be more compact and lighter than some conventional automatic transmissions. Direct power delivery, less slip than a torque converter. Disadvantages. Low speed behavior, dry clutch can exhibit judder, hesitation, or jerkiness at low speeds, in heavy traffic, or when parking. Complexity and repair costs. More complex than manual transmissions and repairs, especially mechatronic unit or clutch pack replacement, can be expensive. Overheating susceptibility, dry clutch prone to overheating in prolonged stop-and-go traffic, which can lead to wear and temporary loss of function. Durability concerns, early dry clutch, some early dry clutch units faced concerns regarding premature clutch wear. Driving style sensitivity, requires a slightly different driving approach than a traditional automatic to maximize longevity, particularly avoiding creeping or riding the clutch. Faults and breakdowns. Common issues reported for Hyundai and Kia DCTs, particularly the earlier dry clutch seven speed versions, include clutch shutter and judder. Most frequent complaint, especially when starting from a stop or during low speed maneuvers. This often points to clutch wear or issues with the clutch actuation system. Delayed engagement and hesitation. Lag when selecting D or R, or a noticeable delay when accelerating from standstill. Transmission overheating, warning lights, and potential limp mode in heavy traffic or on inclines. Grinding noises can indicate clutch or internal gear train wear. Difficulty shifting and skipping gears the transmission getting confused or failing to engage the correct gear, sometimes due to issues with the gear actuators or TCM. Sudden loss of power and neutral engagement. In rare but dangerous cases, the transmission can suddenly shift into neutral or disengage power, often linked to software glitches or mechatronic unit faults. Mechatronic unit problems. The electronic and hydraulic or electromechanical in Hyundai and Kia's case. Control unit for the transmission can fail, leading to various shifting issues. Fluid leaks, wet clutch less common, but can occur with seals or gaskets. Hyundai and Kia have issued numerous software updates and sometimes extended warranties for affected vehicles to address these concerns. Lawsuits related to these issues have also occurred in some markets. History Hyundai Motor Group began developing their own DCD technology in the late 2000s and early 2010s, aiming to bring advanced transmission technology in-house. The six-speed dry-clutch DCT was an early step, followed by the more prevalent seven-speed dry-clutch unit. Recognizing the limitations of dry clutches for certain applications and for overall refinement, they progressively introduced wet-clutch versions, seven-speed and then eight-speed, which offer superior performance and durability, especially in their higher performance end models. Their latest 8-speed wet DCD is a highly regarded unit in the performance car segment. Oil and oil change. The type of oil and service interval for high and Kia DCDs depend heavily on whether it's a dry clutch or wet clutch system. Dry clutch DCT 7-speed D7GF1. Oil type. These do not use a fluid that bathes the clutches. The gear train portion of the transmission uses a specific manual transmission fluid, MTF, 
or a specialized gear oil, SAE 70W, API GL4. The mechatronic unit's internal fluid is typically sealed for life or not intended for routine servicing by owners. Oil change interval. For the gear oil, official Hyundai Kia manuals often state no maintenance required under normal conditions or an inspection interval every 60,000 kilometers. However, under severe usage conditions, which includes frequent stop-and-go traffic, short trips, or driving in dusty conditions, a fluid change is recommended, often around 120,000 kilometers, 75,000 miles. Many independent mechanics and informed owners recommend changing the gear oil proactively at shorter intervals, 60,000 kilometers and 40,000 miles, to prolong the life of the gears and bearings, even if not explicitly mandated for normal use. The dry clutches themselves cannot be serviced with fluid. Wet clutch DST, 8-speed D8LF1, some 7-speed wet clutch versions. Oil type. These require a specific dual clutch transmission fluid, DCDF. This fluid serves to lubricate the gears, cool the clutches, and operate the hydraulic components of the mechatronic unit. It is crucial to use the exact fluid specified by Hyundai and Kia for your particular wet clutch DCT model. Oil change interval. For wet clutch DCDs, fluid changes are essential for longevity. Recommended intervals typically fall around 60,000 kilometers. 37,500 miles, or three to four years, whichever comes first. This can be shorter for performance models like in cars, or if the car is regularly driven aggressively or in demanding conditions, track use, heavy city traffic, etc. Regular fluid changes prevent the fluid from breaking down, losing its lubricating properties, and accumulating wear debris, which can damage the clutches and mechatronic unit. Always consult your specific vehicle's owner's manual or a certified Hyundai and Kia service center to confirm the exact fluid type and service schedule for your particular DCD model. Using the wrong fluid or neglecting fluid changes can lead to costly damage and premature transmission failure. Thank you for watching the video, and I invite you to subscribe to the Automoto Freak channel. Greetings to everyone, and see you in the next episode. See you soon.